Hello everyone, got a few dirty jokes for you today. So a teenage boy goes into a pet store to get his girlfriend a fish for their two-month anniversary. As he was looking around, he saw a parrot in a cage with a $20 price tag on it. He asked the clerk, Why is that bird so cheap? Well, replies the clerk, it comes from a local brothel that was busted by the cops a few weeks ago, and it has rather colorful language. The boy thinks to himself, He's heard some swearing at the girlfriend's house. The parrot could probably be trained to not swear eventually, and the girlfriend would love this over a fish. Sold, he says. Then the clerk covers it with a sheet, and the boy takes it to the girlfriend's place. Once there, he sets the cage down on a table and takes the blanket off. The parrot looks at him, cocks its head, and says, Hey, new John. The girlfriend's mom walks in the room, the bird says. Hey, new madam. The girlfriend and her sister walk in the room, the bird says. Hey, new girls. As everyone was fussing over the bird, the dad gets home, walks in. The bird cocks its head, looking at the dad, and says, hi, Bill. <laughs> so a hunter kills a deer and brings it home. He decides to clean it, prepare it, and serve the deer meat for dinner. He knows his kids are fussy eaters and won't eat it if they know what it is, so he doesn't tell them. His little boy keeps asking him, what's for dinner, dad? You'll see, he replies. They start eating dinner and his daughter keeps asking him what they are eating. Okay, says her dad, here's a hint. It's what your mother sometimes calls me. His daughter screams, Don't eat it, Jimmy. It's a damn asshole. <laughs> so a rich man and a poor man have the same wedding anniversary. They both go to Sex Fifth Avenue to get a gift. The poor man asks the rich man, What did you get your wife this year? The rich man responds, I got her a diamond ring and a Mercedes Benz to which the poor man says, why'd you get her both? So the rich man says, I got both so that if she doesn't like the diamond ring, she can drive the Mercedes to return it and still be happy. So what did you get your wife this year? The poor man responds, I got my wife a pair of slippers and a dildo. The rich man is confused and finally asks the same. Why'd you get her both the pair of slippers and a dildo? He tells him, so that if she doesn't like the slippers, she can go screw herself. <laughs> so a father and his 10-year-old son were in the grocery store. The son was throwing a penny up and catching it. After several successful attempts, he threw it up, lost it in a light, and it went into his mouth. He started choking, which caused the father to start freaking out and yelling for a doctor. A well-dressed woman walked over, calmly reached down and squeezed the boy's testicles through his clothes. He immediately spit up the penny and stopped choking. She didn't say a word and walked away. After making sure his son was okay, the father found the woman to thank her and said, I've never heard of that before. Are you a doctor or something? She replied, Actually, no, I'm a divorce attorney. <laughs> so a little girl asked her mother, How did the human race appear? The mother answered, God made Adam and Eve and they had children, and so was all mankind made. Two days later, the girl asked her father the same question. The father answered, Many years ago, there were monkeys from which the human race evolved. The confused girl returned to her mother and said, Mom, how is it possible that you told me the human race was created by God, and Dad said they developed from monkeys? The mother answered, Well, dear, it is very simple. I told you about my side of the family, and your father told you about his. <laughs> So, an old woman is riding in an elevator in a very lavish New York City building 
when a young, beautiful woman gets into the elevator, smelling of expensive perfume. She turns to the old woman and says arrogantly, Romance by Ralph Lauren, $150 an ounce. Then, another young and beautiful woman gets on the elevator and also very arrogantly turns to the old woman saying, Chanel number no. five, $200 an ounce. About three floors later, the old woman has reached her destination and is about to get off the elevator. Before she leaves, she looks both beautiful women in the eye, then bends over and farts and says, Broccoli, 49 cents a pound. <laughs> so two guys are bungee jumping one day. The first guy says to the second, You know, David, we could make a lot of money running our own bungee jumping service in Mexico. David thinks this is a great idea. So the two pool their money and buy everything they'll need a tower, an elastic cord, insurance, etc. They travel to Mexico and begin to set up on the square. As they are constructing the tower, a crowd begins to assemble. Slowly, more and more people gather to watch them at work. The first guy jumps. He bounces at the end of the cord, but when he comes back up, the David notices that he has a few cuts and scratches. Unfortunately, David isn't able to catch him. He falls again, bounces, and comes back up again. This time, he is bruised and bleeding. Again, David misses him. The first guy falls again and bounces back up. This time, he comes back pretty messed up. He's got a couple of broken bones and is almost unconscious. Luckily, David finally catches him this time and says, Arquette, what happened? Was the cord too long? The first guy lifts his head weakly and says, No, the cord was fine. But David, tell me, what the heck is a piñata? <laughs> so a young man dressed walks tall through the doors of the local coffee shop one Sunday morning. He sits lazily and looks the place up and down before raising his hand and summoning a waiter. I would like your freshest coffee. None of that muddy stuff you probably usually make from yesterday's leftovers. The waiter assured him they make fresh coffee many times per day. I'll believe it when I taste it, said the young man. I'm from New York and I know good coffee. There's very little chance you've got good coffee here so at least make a new batch for me. And he shoos him away. The waiter goes to the kitchen and comes back with a cup of steamy coffee. The man tastes it and immediately makes a disgusted face. Just what I thought. That's not F-R-E-S-H. Come on, make me another one. The waiter goes back to the kitchen and indeed takes some time to return. Upon his return, he is holding a steaming and aromatic coffee cup. The waiter gives the gentleman the cup and he takes a sip. Before spitting it out immediately, he turns to the waiter and shouts, This is way worse! This coffee tastes like mud. The waiter, looking surprised, turns to the man and says, But sir, it's fresh ground. 